Well, welcome along everybody to uh, the Shanghai International Circuit for round number three of season five, the Chinese Grand Prix on F1 2018. And I think you can agree, if this is going to be anything by Bahrain, we're going to be in for quite the race. So, we got to get more than, I think that was 15 uh, points. It's going to be a dry race and a dry qualifying as well. That's uh, always very good and very, uh, very helpful as well. <sighs> Although uh, those two clouds in the middle, maybe, maybe a slight, slight chance of rain. Uh, we selected Kevin Magsden as our rival from the, uh, from the last video. So it'll be uh, interesting to see his school, Mr. Magnuson, uh, when we can. But uh, you can see we're also schooling Mr. Ricardo uh, when we need to school him as well. So, yeah. We're, uh... We're getting there. We're, uh, we're getting there. There's our contract. And that'll be up for renewal after the next race at Azerbaijan. <laughs> Azerbaijan. I'm not looking forward to Azerbaijan. Our engine power should be fine, but ooh, I'm not sure about uh, the technical stuff. You see we've got three upgrades on the way, one aero and two uh, chassis. One chassis will come in for Azerbaijan, the other two will come in for Spain. And that is when I predict we will see Red Bull back near the top of whatever. That would put us about fifth best team if we upgrade uh, everything uh, as it is right now. But uh, yeah be interesting. I mean, you can see at the uh, at the moment the tree looks pretty good. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. It looks uh, it looks a lot better than it did before uh, before the Australian Grand Prix. That's for sure. But you think about it, we've got a podium, two podiums at the moment. <coughs> Excuse me. Two podiums, and we're not even close to being the best we can be yet on this uh, difficulty. That just shows you how good uh, I think this car is. Look at the points. Esteban Ocon, two victories for the season out of two races. He is your championship leader from myself. Uh, then Sergio Perez in third place, Charles Leclerc. Kevin Magnussen, Fernando Alonso, Pierre Gasly, Lance Stroll and Brendan Hartley and Lewis Hamilton round out your top ten in points. And so far, yet to get off the mark, uh, Roman Grosjean, uh, I believe, Daniel Ricciardo, Kimi Raikkonen, Sergei Sorokin, Stoffel Van Dorn, and the two Renaults, Holkenberg and Sainz. So you're going to need to do something about that, boys. But uh, in the meantime, we're going to head off and get practiced. We'll get qualified, and we'll see you guys for the Chinese Grand Prix. Hard work, ingenuity and ambition. All things you'll find in abundance amongst the 15 million people of Shanghai over there to our southeast. And we've got plenty of that here on the grid as well. 20,000 horsepower, give or take, chomping at the bit to be unleashed for the Chinese Grand Prix. We start a lap here at Shanghai with the long, difficult right-handers of turns one and two, the first of 16 corners that make up this 3.3-mile circuit. The incredibly long back straight provides the best passing opportunity of the lap, with speeds in excess of 200 miles per hour before the braking zone of turn 14. Joining me once again to take you through this race is the effervescent Anthony Davidson, and I'm very much looking forward to it getting underway. You raced here, of course, didn't you, back in your Super Aguri days in that infamous Chinese Grand Prix of 2007? Yeah, that's right. I didn't last that long, though, unfortunately. Uh, qualifying had gone pretty well, but my brakes failed quite early in the race, around lap 10 or 11, something like that. And, of course, back in 2004, I was the very first Formula 1 driver to complete a lap of this circuit. Just thought I'd mention that for you, Crofty. You like a good stat. Uh, it's a fairly tough circuit on the brakes here, though. You know, it's that long back straight down into turn 14 and then you got turn 6 and 11 they're quite heavy as well on top of that managing your front tire wear is always a challenge around here so there's a lot to keep in mind during the Grand Prix
So before the off, let's remind ourselves of yesterday's qualifying session with a look at the starting grid. Sergio Perez will lead us away from pole position with Charles Leclerc alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Gasly, Hartley, Esteban Ocon, and Alonso, Magnussen, Hamilton, Stroll, and Poole, Ericsson, Bottas, Daniel Ricciardo, and Sorotkin, Van Dorn, Sainz, Nico Hülkenberg, and Sebastian Vettel, Raikkonen, and Roman Grosjean starts from the back of the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. OK, you've qualified higher than we expected, so let's try to build on this position throughout the race. Well, qualifying went better than expected. P10 on the grid. And uh, to be honest, I didn't even think we'd make it into the top 10 shootout. But uh, somehow we made it. It's going to be a, a one-stop race today. Free, a very short uh, stint on the ultra softs. And then uh, straight onto the soft tyres for the end of the race. But uh, it's going to be all about uh, that long straight on the back, I would say. We're going to see a, quite a few passes into the hairpin. So uh, without further ado, and uh, let's not uh, waste anyone's time, let's get underway and let's get this Chinese Grand Prix to five red lights. Okay, folks. You thought the Bahrain one was exciting. This is going to be just as exciting. From 10th on the grid, five red lights around. It's lights out and away we go. And a uh, pretty decent start, actually. But uh, then we get bogged down as we go into turn number one. And this should be where we make all our time up as we go into turn number two. Big! Oh, so I think Kevin Magnussen give us a bit of a shot on the side there. Excuse you. You can uh, keep your nose out of there. They're side by side. The Toro Rosso's are side by side. In front of us, Hartley and Gasly. Alonso and uh, Arca Arcon's had a terrible start. Oh, big! Excuse me. Coming through. Oh, they're still banging wheels. <laughs> We're still banging wheels. Me and uh, one of the Toro Rossos there. I think that's Pierre Gasly. No love lost between uh, myself and Gasly from the Toro Rosso days. Although I actually thought he kind of liked me. Which was a uh, shot by Sergio Perez that uh, leads this race from Charles Leclerc. As we go back to... Who is that? That's the two Renaults fighting each other. Hulkenberg and Sainz. You couldn't tell the cars from the rear of the camera there. But uh, you can clearly see them now. The two yellow uh, perils are there. That looks like it is for P... Uh, 1980s P16. These Renaults have really struggled since uh, Season 1. Sorry, Season 2, I should say. When they uh, we had the big reset. Look at... Oh, that's a mess. That's a mess! How do you expect me to comment down that? That's free and too wide! Down into turn, uh, turn whichever one that is. Sort it out back there. I don't think they know uh, what they were trying to do. I think the uh, yeah the Haas got the jump on every single one of those Ferraris and uh, Renaults there. They're still side by side going into turn number one. The two Renaults, and then through it into turn number two. One just decreases and decreases. Then into turn three. They still they've been like this for a lap. Sort yourselves out back there, lads. Through turn four, coming to turn five and turn six. Finally, I think they've sorted themselves out. And uh, it's business as you are at the front of the field. Now, this happened uh, earlier in the race while uh, those two were having their fun. And it looks like it's Esteban Ocon trying to get past Fernando Alonso here. And uh, will he? Will the uh, French would get the uh, run on the experienced Spaniard? He'll have the inside for turn three. If he gets it, oh, he'll, he'll have the run. Will he get there? No, it looks like Alonso's just going to keep him at bay for the time being. Although, oh, someone just flew off. Uh, was that off Arcon's car? I think that was off Arcon's car. And this is uh, this is live now. That is Ocon. Yeah, it's it flew off Ocon's car. Because he Magnussen. He's going to go right down the outside of uh, Esteban Ocon. He's missing a bit of front wing. You might just be able to see it on the uh, right side of the car. He's missing an end piece. He was on the grass there as well for a bit. Then, as we go up uh, further up, who's this? Oh. 
There are cars uh, all over the place here. This is Alonso and uh, Hartley. I think, or is that the man Gasly? No, I think that is Brendan Hartley. Let me just have a look here. No, that is Gasly. I do apologise. That was her uh, P6. No, P5, sorry. But uh, I think it's all starting to uh, settle itself out now. This is, this is the lap when I uh, pit. And we come out the uh, tight hairpin. Now going up to this lovely fast uh, section. Now, this is where we've been struggling. These two corners, normally where we uh, don't struggle, but uh, we've been struggling in this race weekend. The car just sliding through those corners. We've uh, adjusted the weight balance to try and uh, counteract that, but it uh, doesn't seem to have worked. Okay, remember to pit this lap. Whether that's because of the lack of aero or the lack of uh, ship grip we've got in the tyres, we haven't got a clue. But uh, it is, at the moment, we are P4. Yep, we had another lightning start, ladies and gentlemen. We're P4, so it's Perez from Leclerc from Hartley. They're uh, all in pretty much close attendance here. DRS was uh, activated, but uh, now we should be coming in to get our pit stop. Then we're going to swift be on the super, the soft tyre for the longest here. There we go, diving into the pits. Make sure you run nicely. That's where Lewis Hamilton uh, lost the 2007 World Championship at that very pit exit. He uh, he binned it in the uh, in the tyre. Uh, in the gravel trap that was there, but it's now uh, concrete. As we uh, come out of the pit lane now, we're going to be last. And I think if we're going to be last, we're going to be with the yeah, we're going to be in that fight between the Ferraris and the Renaults. <laughs> who whoever thought that uh, the back of the field would be a fight between the Ferrari and the Renaults, eh? Now. This happened while we were in the pit lane. It looks like Ocon's uh, finally sorted himself out to get past Fernando Alonso here. And move. Yes, he is. So whatever flew off Ocon's car, he's managed to uh, sort it out. Oh, what was that? What happened there? Was Ferrari just parked on the outside? I wonder if Sir Rockin was involved there because he was uh, in pretty much close attendance. And now the Renaults and the Ferraris are two by two. Sainz, uh, Hulkenberg, and then along uh, Vettel and Raikkonen. So that, that is for 16, 17, 18, and 19. Sorokin in front of them, P15. Sorokin's dropping off the back of Stoffel van Dorn, who's P14. They're still side by side. These Renaults have been side by side for the whole race. And we've got to go past them yet. Yeah, there's a yellow flag. Oh, there's a car on the outside there. It's retired. Who retired just then? Who's that that retired? Was it was it Hartley? Was it Hartley that retired? Is that Hartley? No, it's my man Gasly. Nah, my man Gasly. Oh, well, that's that's a spot anyway. And oh, yeah, he just pulled over to the side. He was like, no. Nah. Car was like, nah, you're all right. Now, this is... Uh, this is back live. That is going to be Lance Stroll passing uh, Alonso on the outside. I think it's Alonso that's uh, got the damage, not uh, Ocon. Although what damage it is, I haven't got a clue. As he uh, thinks about going down. Whoa! Alonso going into the pit. Oh, that's what happened! He was the car that was uh, parked on the outside there. He was a car, so actually that was uh, Sorokin, I think, not uh, not a Stroll, because here's uh, this is live as the Renaults uh, try and get past Sorokin here from the nose cone. They're all over the place. Are they going in the pits? I think they are. We've passed the both Ferraris uh, somehow. It, it's all kicking off here, isn't it? As we come to start lap number five, ten laps uh, of this Chinese Grand Prix to go. Uh, so who we got? We got Vettel behind us, Hulkenberg in front of us. We should get Hulkenberg quite easily, I would say. It should be quite easy, I would hope. Hopefully we're not stuck behind you too long. Because if we are, then uh, that's going to be Perez, Hulkenberg, Leclerc, and uh, Hartley out in front of us. I'll be honest, I would have preferred if it was Hartley that uh, retired. Because honestly, since Hartley's taken over my ride in Tarosso, he has been lit. He has been on fire. Like literally, you can't uh, get past him here. 
as we try going around the outside of Hulkenberg here. I think we're going to get him. Yes, we're going to get him into turn. No, whichever one that was. So we've uh, passed Hulkenberg. Nice work, that Even brings nice you up the place. Seen that from uh, the outside of the okay, car Okay, gap ahead is 2.8 to, uh, seconds. As we go to Sergio Perez, who uh, I think will come out in the de facto race lead when the pit stops cycle through. He's got Leclerc right behind him. This is for P8 on the track. I think it's for P8 anyway. I can't see my notes. Yes, it's for P8. Oh, there goes Leclerc. Leclerc up in the inside. I think he's got him. So Leclerc will now be the de facto race leader when the pit stops cycle through. Where's Hartley then? There's me. Where's Brendan Hartley? Oh, there goes Perez right back. He just grabbed the pit. Whoa! <coughs> <coughs> he just came out the pit lane. It was almost a calamity. That was almost uh, an accident waiting to happen right there. That could have uh, been very, very nasty as Hartley came out the pit lane. Now who we got here? It looked like uh, Kevin Magnussen with uh, Fernando Alonso, or is that Stoffel Van Dorn? I wish I could see my notes here, because I can't see him for an absolute Jack Stidley squat. Actually that's Grosjean and Alonso, I do apologise for P15. I think Alonso got his man there. Oh, what, what happened there? Something's happened there, and the uh, virtual both safety car and the virtual safety Slow car has been called out. Positive delta. Virtual safety car is virtual deployed. Virtual safety car Drop is out. Speed, I, I wonder if it's too low what happened on the outside of uh, Slow your pace immediately. the last corner there. But we're the gonna ending, we're going to rush this through now. Maintain positive delta until the green flags. To around about uh, here, get the power down, and we're off. So we have closed a little bit on the uh, Hartley, Perez and Leclerc. They're not too far away, you know. A okay, podium clear. could be on. We haven't said that ever. We've never ever said that. Actually, we've said that plenty of times and uh, it's, actually, uh, it's actually gone and happened, shall we say. Enough said. But uh, who's behind us? Kevin Magnus is behind us in P5. As we come down this big long kilometre straight and uh, behind us, that is one of the Renaults. That is Kimi Raikkonen and Carlos Sainz. This is now for the de facto P15 position after all the starts. Made. Big lock up from Kimi into the hairpin and he's going to get the job done. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Enough said. As we go up the field, that is Kevin Magnussen and Lance Stroll for P5. Thank you very much, says the Canadian. I'll take P5. He wants uh, to get his hands on me, I think. Uh, oh, they're still side by side, but I think uh, Stroll will have the traction around the outside of Turn 3 and Turn 4. Yes, he will. There's just no grip out there. In fact, Magnussen might lose out to uh, Marcus Ericsson here. The Swede... Uh, and the Dane, it's a Nordic battle between the two. And it looks like, is, he, is the Swede going to get the better of the Dane? Oh, it's going to be tight going around and it is going to be the Swede ahead of the Dane. Whew! Time out everyone. Time out, we're only halfway through this race. And already we're out of breath as we go through the big tight corner now round this long winding apex still Hartley's in front of us if Hartley and Perez start fighting that's only going to help us but it's also going to help Charles Leclerc because that's going to mean uh, Charles Leclerc gets away but uh, while they're all uh, pretty close to each other they're still all in uh, striking range we lock it up a little deep into the hairpin now coming up to the last corner and oh, a little wider on the last corner as well. Charles Leclerc sets the fastest lap of the race. We're not too Leclerc far behind has set that. the fastest lap of the race so far. And of far. course when F1 2019 comes out it will be a point for the fastest lap as long as you're in the top 10 so I should get that no problem. He says. <laughs> it will be uh, interesting to see tyre strategies as well uh, what happens then. But uh, you never, ever know. It, uh, it could be... 
could be something that uh, F1 2019 doesn't add here as we come through turn seven. Now through turn into turn eight, it winds tighter and tighter and tighter into turn nine and ten. You see, we're visibly we're getting closer to Hartley and uh, Perez. We even get a whiff of DRS with the engine power that this Renault has. This um, Red Bull Renault, if we go into 11 and 12, I'll tell you now, they are going to be dead dodos. Because then you're going to see us try and uh, defend for everything that uh, everything that we have, and I will defend the position very heartily if I have to. I have been known to do a very robust defence. You are derating. Lower the position. ERS deployment mode before you Straight hit your deployment head. limit. Seems to be like the Claire is actually starting to get away from these two now. So Charles right, Claire is uh, starting to pose a priority. They have an, have an issue with their car. They're going to be slow. Charles Claire, we've got our own personal the leader is best, uh, lap as well. Zero seconds. As long as it's uh, faster than. Whoa! Oh, what happened here? <laughs> what happened here? Somebody, uh, somebody messed up. What happened here? Uh, you didn't see that. That didn't happen. <laughs> Oh, we're not perfect in any stretch of the imagination. Ugh, <laughs> dear me. It was late when I did this video, it's really late. Ugh, speaking of late, here comes Ricardo on Hamilton. No, in fact, that's Hamilton on Ricardo for P8. Ricardo's had a great um, race so far, but uh, it did come on the radio that uh, Daniel was starting to have issues. And we're starting to, I think, see those issues here. Oh, as Ocon goes around the outside of uh, Ricardo, will Ocon get that? Well, he should get that job done. And that's Hamilton uh, into P8 and Rick Ocon into P9. So move. Uh, actually, is that right? Yes, that is right. That is uh, completely right. And uh, someone's not been paying attention. As we go back to Ricardo, he's got uh, Van Dorn all over his rear. Oh, is that Alonso? No, that is Van Dorn. So that's actually for. No, that's Alonso. I do apologise. No, that is Van Dorn. That is Van Dorn. I do apologise there. I'm getting the two McLarens mixed up because uh, Alonso is actually behind uh, Bottas who's uh, next on the track, but this is uh, what we've been waiting for. Hartley and uh, Perez starting to fight each other. This is for P2. P2 is on here if we can uh, stay with it. But you can see here, look at these two. They're just so close to each other. I think Perez is going to have another go at Hartley down into Turn 1. But all this is doing is allowing Charles Leclerc to get away. And uh, that's uh, Perez back around the outside of uh, Hartley, sorry. As we go back to Ricardo, he's got Bottas right on his tail. And that should be Bottas uh, past her. Uh, I wonder if his problems are uh, gearbox related or brake related. Because he seems to be offering, uh, he just has no traction. So I think it must be uh, some kind of gearbox issue as we go back to ourselves here with... Look how close we are to Hartley and Perez. I'll tell you now, we're going to have a go in the hairpin here. And it's going to be a pretty, pretty stout attempt here. We'll bump it into overtake. We'll bump it into rich mix. Here we come. He's pretty far behind Perez, so I don't think a move on Perez is good. But if we can get Hartley now, that would mean uh, the Perez job is uh, done and dusted. He's going to have a go on Perez, though. We're going to have a go right down the inside. Side by side almost with Perez. We've got Hartley. That's him done. Let's see if we can get uh, the job done on Perez here. As we come out the last corner to start lap number 11. Down the start, finish straight. Oh, come on, Mr. Cameraman. You're concentrating on the wrong thing. What are you doing? That is ridiculous. You concentrate. You're going back to what? The stop of Van Dorn. That's Van Dorn in P11. So it was Alonso that passed him. God, now I'm getting the McLarens mixed up. So move uh, Van Dorn up to a position. Nat, thank you. When I, when I want to see it pass by Ricardo, I'll see it pass by Ricardo. But until then, you concentrate on me. Whoa, no, no, bit of contact. 
Whoa, and a bit more contact. Perez is in the wars. In fact, oh, that's uh, Perez down two positions. Ours was unintentional. I think Hartley just uh, thought, bugger it. Excuse me, I'm coming through. Whew, so we're now in P2. I told you a podium was on. This car on its day, it might not have the chassis and the aero upgrades of the Toro Rosso behind us, but it is on fire. And I will tell you now, there's three laps of fuel remaining. That Toro Rosso came in and it was upgraded already. So they're going to be saving resource points like absolute crazy for the uh, presumed R&D reset, excuse me, which will come at the end. That is two very controversial movements in my uh, esophagus. And we didn't like either one of them. As uh, we thought Brendan Hartley was going to have a go there, but uh, obviously not. We've got the legs on Brendan Hartley. That's good to know for uh, Azerbaijan as we go back to one of the Renaults here. That is Nico Hulkenberg with Sergei Sorokin right behind him for P15. Big lock up from Hulkenberg as Sorokin goes down the inside. Will Sorokin get the job done? The answer to that question is yes, he will. And move the Russian up into P15. How do you. Oh, I know how he ended up down there. He had that uh, big moment in the last corner where everyone decided to pile into the side of him. And he just stopped on the track for some second. And people wondered why Williams brought me into a uh, team with Lance Stroll. Oh dear me. Speaking of dear me, we're on lap 12 here. And we've got uh, Brendan Hartley all over our gearbox here. Sergio Perez is also all over our gearbox as well. It's going to be interesting to see... Uh, it's a freeway engine fight as well down into the first corner. You've got the Mercedes in the Force Indy, you've got the Honda in uh, the Toro Rosso, and you've got the Renault in my car. The Ferrari of uh, Charles Leclerc, well, it's an Alfa Romeo badge, but it's actually a Ferrari engine uh, leading the way. I don't think we'll catch Leclerc. Leclerc is a uh, god. Reduce the ERS deployment, please. We need to charge no, the battery. No, I will not reduce ERS. I'm in a bloody fight at the moment, you nana. As we go uh, down the field, this is uh, Lewis Hamilton and Kevin Magnussen for P7. Will uh, Will Hamilton get the job done on the day? Oh, with ease. Oh, big lock up though. Big lock. Oh, Ocon, no quarter given there. Tried to put Lewis Hamilton out the race. I hope uh, he gets what he deserves for that. As we go back to myself with Brendan Hartley right in close attendance. This is going to be so... Oh, a bit of contact and I almost went for a Burton. Oh, well, giving him back right down the inside into turn two. That's uh, how you get the job done cleanly, Mr. Hartley. Not uh, not how you did it as we go back to Ocon and Hamilton for, uh, for P8. And then Ocon's going to get that job done. Thank you very much. Goodbye. That's Ocon up uh, up a position. He's got uh, Kevin Magnussen right in front of him. We go back to Sorokin. He's got Raikkonen all over his case. This is for P14 on the track. And uh, we're going to move Sorokin up a position, I think. Down a position, I think, because Raikkonen is going to go right down the inside. Yes, he is. No, he's gone round the outside, actually. Well, fair play there, my friend. Fair play. Now back up to the front of the field. While all this has been going on, you got uh, this fight still going on between myself. Oh, that's Perez out. Perez out of this race. The Mercedes in the back of that Force India says no more. Thank you very much. Let's park it up on the side. Yellow flags will be in force as Ocon comes up to the back of Kevin Magnussen. That's coming into the yellow flag zone, Mr. Ocon. No overtaking. You can see the yellow flags. The yellows are out. What? What is Ocon doing? Ocon's passed in the yellow. That you can't pass in the yellow. That's ridiculous. And I think um, I think Vettel's gonna pass uh, Nico Hulkenberg on the yellow as well. What? what? Are the rules 
being thrown out of the window here. We're passing cars under yellow flags. What is going on? That's Vettel, that is Vettel and uh, they're still going at it, Vettel and uh, Hulkenberg. For a, a nothing position. That's Grosjean right uh, in attendance as well with uh, Carlos Sainz right behind him. Back to, who is that? That is Ocon, Magnussen and Hamilton now. If uh, Ocon's going to send, he'll give that place back. Yeah, there you go. Magnussen right back down the inside of uh, Esteban Ocon. Uh, and Ocon might want to learn what a clean pass is. In fact, a uh, pass under the rules as well. Because that was neither. He still actually kept the position. Which I don't think he should have done. Personally. Who's this here now? That's uh, Raikkonen and Sorokin. Now this is a legal pass. That is legal. Move the Russian up a position unless Raikkonen gets uh, some great traction in out of turn three. I think he might, you know. They might still be side by side. He does get some traction. But it's the first time we said that. Usually the outside line out of turn three uh, gets all the traction there as we come all out of shape through turn 11. All out of shape a day later, the dollar short. Hartley, I don't think he's anywhere even close to us. Let's see if uh, he is. He's nowhere even close. So uh, this should be an easy P2 here as we go to Charles Leclerc, the winner of the Chinese Grand Prix. Congratulations to the Monogast driver with Sauber team. That was a well-deserved victory from start to finish. I'm not going to argue with that at all. As we come out in the last corner, it's P2. What a result. Thank you for all your hard work out there. That, that was a strong drive is a, a result finish. and a half. Well done. Congratulations to Sauber then for their excellent win today. And Anthony Davidson, give me your thoughts. How did they accomplish this result? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalise on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. Looks like they're on their way out to the podium now, and what a result this is, and what a popular one with the crowd as well. Great stuff to see the Sauber team on top here today. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. It wasn't the best weekend for our championship leader, and their advantage at the top has been reduced. Moving on to the driver of the day then, Anthony Davidson, who would you go for? I have to give it to Paul. That was a commanding performance today. Very impressive indeed. On to the constructors then. We saw a dip in form from the championship leaders today. Their lead has taken a significant blow. Another team that excelled today was Williams, who make further progress up the table. There'll be plenty more twists and turns to come this season. I hope you can join us at the next race to see just who will come out on top. Whew! And we got another Driver of the Day award as well. What more, what more can you say? What more can you say? This car has just been on fire from, uh, from start to finish. But uh, Charles Leclerc, the winner of the Chinese Grand Prix, from myself, Brendan Hartley in third, Lance Stroll fourth, Marcus Ericsson, Esteban Ocon, what a, that was a result, we've uh, cut the championship lead to Ocon, Kevin Magnussen, Lewis Hamilton, Stoffel Van Dorn and Valtteri Bottas round out your top ten, so points for Van Dorn and two DNFs, Gasly and Perez. Whew! Let's go and have a chat with Claire, shall we, after all that mayhem. I'm sitting down after that. Yes, I did gain a lot of positions. Uh, what do you put that down to? Got me down to the fact that the car was sticking to the track there. Absolutely, I'm happy with that result. 
Who wouldn't be happy with a podium for crying out loud, but it all came together. You really looked in control of your car out there. Your team must Absolutely. Be Couldn't do it without a great team behind me. Couldn't do it without uh, the great Red Bull team it behind looks like me. looks you're schooling your rivals at the moment. <laughs> That's why he always calls me Sir. Appreciate your time. Appreciate your time. <laughs> That's why he calls me Sir. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> Fantastic. That's uh, that's all I can say to that. Oh, I tell you what, twelve hundred resource points. I might not even wait. Uh, might not even wait and get these uh, upgrades well, done for Baku. Uh, I might just uh, buy them straight the away. The get them uh, on the car and ready. <sighs> We've received invitations what a to new first three event. races, man. What a first three races. Fantastic. There's, there's not more you can actually say. So we're going to get... Uh, how much do these cost? 504... For, yeah. The second we get that um, upgrade for Baku, we're going to jump on it straight away. And then we'll probably jump on those two for uh, for Monaco. But we still got... I'm not so much worried about the first two. I'm more worried about the gearbox as far as durability is concerned. Championship lead cut down to 10 points, Esteban. What are you going to do now? What are you going to do? Charles Leclerc's brought himself into contention with that win. He's uh, leapfrogged uh, quite a lot of people, actually. Still, uh, still six uh, yet to score. Although Stuffle has now scored, so that's going to do it, folks. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy the Chinese Grand Prix. Leave a like if you did. It does help me out a lot. You can also subscribe for week daily F1 2018 and NASCAR Heat Free footage, as well as live streams uh, on other games. And until next time, thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you guys for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix.